This is interview number five in the series with Russ Cameron, the designer and builder of Kettlewell Resonant Covers. Russ, many people that I had spoken with over the last two years that tried to work on this did not seem to be able to understand the idea of a resonant chamber which went from a fairly small height at the mouthpiece and gradually increased to the end of the harmonica and also went from a flat shaping towards the mouthpiece to a tremendous curvature. Did you understand this concept and what it was likely to do to sound early on? I, I think I had a good grasp on once you explained your invention, your idea, uh, the fact that you're going from a normal cover, which is a rather tamped down shell, and, and really is more intended as a place to put your hands and be able to hold the instrument while you're playing, not so much as an acoustic or resonant improvement on shape. And so it was sort of naturally intuitive to imagine the trumpet shape being superior and being able to project the sound out and being able to have the sounds mix as they go through, particularly trapped inside an octave area. Uh, a, an octave rings so nicely when it's played, uh, it just kind of makes sense that you would want the sounds to come out through a spread of an octave as far as anything resonating back, the reeds resonating themselves. And so you're capturing an octave's worth of resonant sound and you're allowing that to uh, intermix on its way out through a trumpet shape. And so those sounds are trapped inside uh, and walking their way around the end of a crimped down cover or even a stanchion. We find that the stanchions uh, cause a, a resonance issue with sound coming out through there. And so we find that that open shape, keeping it very thin between uh, and funneling it out basically like a funnel, like a trumpet, out toward the end and let that sound mix and, and exit the uh, instrument. Okay. Thank you. We'll do a sound test now. Let's begin with Seidel Saxony Orchestra Tuned Bulletini Wireless Mic. Now, Gregor Marais. 